We are now living in a digital world where internet is everything for us. But one of the most important part is the medium through which the internet comes to us. And perhaps a highly neglected part is the internet router. We have been using quite an old janky router at a studio. But now it has started to freeze, give bad connection speeds and it makes streaming very difficult. This is mainly because it's on use 24-7, there are multiple devices connected, more than it can handle and there are high data downloads and uploads taking place over it. Our internet speeds are not extremely high, so we needed something that could take care of all the three problems and at the same time not break the bank. So after carefully researching, we decided to buy the ASUS RT AC59U. When you first open the box, you are going to see the warranty information and a quick start guide which we of course don't need. Then you have the power adapter which comes with two different attachments which is actually quite handy. You now have a single internet cable and finally you have the router itself kept safe in this plastic. We were using a wireless end router since a long time and the single band limits us to a lot of functions so getting the RTAC59U which is a dual band wireless AC router we now have a lot of functionalities to our disposal. The wireless end router was rated at just 300 Mbps on the single 2.4 GHz band but it is not necessarily going to give us that due to the chipset limitations whereas now the AC router has two bands with the limits of 600 Mbps on the 2.4 GHz band and 867 Mbps on the 5 GHz band. Together it is 5 times more than what we would get on the wireless end router. The 4x4 on the 2.4 GHz band means that all the four antennas on the router send and receive signals at the same time, with which we have two times faster speed on the smaller band and the new 5G Wi-Fi chipsets gives us better connection as well. Moving on to the advantages of the router, we have a lot of users connected to the router and so we needed to prioritize the bandwidth for the users which is very easy with the help of the adaptive QoS technology which helps us prioritize the bandwidth whenever I'm gaming or streaming. To separate all the users, we decided to assign all the media streaming devices on the 2.4 GHz band and our workstations, gaming consoles and streaming PCs on the 5 GHz band. We also have a lot of guests coming at a studio and for that now we have the 2.4 GHz band which does not interrupt our workflow at any point of time. For the I.O. there is a research switch, power switch, DC input, a USB 3.0 port which we can use as a mini NAS to store files on the network, a WPS button, main Ethernet port and 4 internet gigabit ports. Each of these ports have a corresponding indicator on the front alongside indicators for the 2.4 and the 5 GHz bands. Aesthetically, the router looks good. It has some checks designed on the body and it blends perfectly with the environment. It doesn't seem out of place. Setting up this router was a piece of cake. Just three simple steps and we were good to go. There was no need for all that wired mess that would be created with other routers and even better you can set it up from the app as well. You can even control the router with your app after setup wherever you are, in your house or your workplace. Some other features like parental control and VPN server are quite useful when you are at home. But since we don't use it, we will never enable it. One of the major questions we had about the router was the range from it even before we bought it. And it clearly lived up to our expectations. We even got range in our washrooms, which is a great plus if you know what I mean. With the wireless end router, the signal strength I get in my balcony and my brother's room were not so great. But after switching to the RTAC59U, the signal sense have been better and so have been the speeds. The router costed us a little above 5000 rupees INR, which is not much especially when you have so many features that it provides. It is clearly an extremely necessary upgrade from a wireless end router. We have been using the router for a few days and we have already been loving the differences in our workflow with uninterrupted network be it wired or wireless and hands down this was a great purchase for the start of the year. If you are still using a wireless end router, I would urge you to upgrade to a wireless AC router and see the differences for yourself. So that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions on what we should do next, please leave it down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share and I'll catch you all in the next one.